Yo, what plant is that? What plant is hey, that? What plant is that's that? That's a pretty flower. What plant is that? G? What? What is that? That's neat. Oja, how excellent is thy name in all the world. How manifold are thy works set aright in all the world. Out of the mouths of babes and subjects are thou art in strength. To steal the enemies and the avenger. This one here is Liar Leaf Sage, botanical name Salvia Lorata. It's also called Wild Sage or Cancer Weed because once it starts it just continues to grow like a cancer so they say it is edible it's in a category of edible and medicinal and this one here i'm unaware of any toxic poisonous lookalikes its entire aerial portion is edible Aerial meaning above ground, but it has lots of fuzzy hairs all over it. If you could get in there, yeah, see that? Guys, I'm, I'm using a droid, guys. Droid does, and sometimes it does what it wants, but I'm trying to get it to focus right now. All right, here we go. Lots of fuzzy hair, so it's best if you slightly steam it or, you know, cook it. It can be used as a spinach substitute. Toss it in some salad, chop it up, toss it in some rice. You know, it grows about one to two feet tall in the spring. And it's native to America, North America. And it grows in the mid-central and eastern states of the United States. Medicinally, for a rapid easing aid on the skin, it can be chewed and applied to open wounds. It's used abundantly like many sages for the issues of skin treatment. Uh, you can chew it for a sore throat. It is diaphoretic, so you can make a tea out of it. Diaphoretic means it induces sweating. It's antimicrobial, antibacterial, astringent, which means it has drying qualities. It eases diarrhea. As a matter of fact, it's good for all stomach issues. Like regular sage, this liar leaf sage has similar properties. It is just not as strong. We got some bees out here trying to eat on the flowers. As I was about to say, the flowers can be eaten raw. In herbology, there's a term of like curing like. There's this concept that if you take too much of something, it'll give you the issue of what it has the ability to heal, to work against. There's also the same concept if we go back to the shamanism and the ancient traditionalist use of plant medicine, the more ancient way of doing things. And the natives here called this plant cancer weed as it spreads like cancer. They also used it in that manner to treat, to treat skin cancers. And they used it in that same manner to treat skin cancers and to treat all manner of topical ailments. If you have any existing health concerns, Take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural 
life to a more traditional lifestyle after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.